that's us. We're all done, we're all packed up, all showered up. And we're getting out of here, heading to Litchfield National Park, which should be a good one. Should be back to normal videos, hopefully. But uh, anyway, let's get out of here. Let's go. Hit the road. Hit the road, Jack. Litchfield National Park. Our first stop is Bamboo Creek Tin Mine and it's just an old abandoned mine site. So let's go have a look. We're at the start, Bamboo Creek Tin Mine. We're here, just gonna go up and around and say 20 minutes. So let's go. As you walk, you just see all this tin on the ground. The sun is just reflecting off it, so you can really, really notice that. We got here thinking it was 660 per adult per night, but look, $10, but look at this. How annoying. Oh, this is it. This is our little camp, Wongi Falls. Uh, good little spot, actually. And the price is 10 bucks a night per person now. They put the price up, bit of a bugger. So we've got the two nights here. Our second stop is Wangi Falls. However, swimming is not permitted. Pool closed, it says swimming is prohibited due to strong currents and the likely presence of crocodiles. So the water levels are really high as well, but it's absolutely beautiful. We are off to a viewing platform on the treetop deck, 300 metres away. So let's go have a little look. So this treetop walk, it's bit steep but it sort of turns into stairs and well, I'm guessing the treetop look out there which is really cool because it was a bit unexpected this one but this treetop look out it's just trees pretty much so that treetop walk just I know it sounds funny, I don't know why I expected more, but literally just led you to some tops of trees. I'm guessing back in the day it was probably alright, but now it just looks really overgrown and you can't see anything but trees. So, yeah. Well, we got back here and uh, jumped in the car now and we're going to have a swim at, I don't know where we're going. Cascades. Cascades, which is back along the way we came north so uh, we'll get out there I don't know if it's a bit of a walk or not is it... um, there's two parts so it's whether you want to go swimming or not basically yeah. try and have a quick swim there we've got the noodles now so there shouldn't be any um, any reason why we don't go for a swim but let's get over there we are now off to Cascades um, there is a lower pool and an upper pool I have read that you can only swim at the upper pool, but the sign back there says different. So 
we'll see and i've also read the first 800 meters is just flat ground like this and then it turns to an absolute shambles so that should um, be fun chosen lower let's go Looks like we've hit some sort of rocks, which is going to be fun. The fun begins, and the fun begins. Rock climbing. Yep. And we have officially hit a traffic jam. We think we found them. That may be upper cascades there. We look back this way. Hoping that's lower cascades. I don't know. We're going to jump in for a swim up top here in the middle because it looks the nicest, the deepest. Which one? We've made it to the upper point of the lower cascades and we're just going to go for a dip down there and the waterfall leads just down below this. Is it cold? <laughs> it's, it's freezing cold. <laughs> oh. Ah. Oh. Jump, jump, jump! <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Freezing cold. I think we're gonna go out there and sit under those little waterfalls there. Get a nice little spa happening. Anywhere you go, anywhere you go, give it up. Anywhere you say, anywhere you say, any. So I've left Soch down there and I'm uh, just gonna go for a walk, see if I can get up to the upper falls. Upper Cascades, let's see what it's like actually. So I'm pretty sure this is the top. This is as far as you can go at the upper falls here. And I mean, what a spot. It's just incredible. Just another thing as well. Looks like there's been a bushfire here not that long ago. And it's sort of been stopped as well by the river, which is really cool to see. Nature doing its thing to put the fire out. We chose, well, I decided to come a different route back and I totally regret it. It's so steep and rocky. And this is what I mean when it's very rocky and very steep. Oh. Whose idea was this? It was definitely your idea. <laughs> but anyway, we get to see something different coming this way, but I just, I don't recommend doing it. The day is Sandy Creek. We just got here. It's 1.7k in, 1.7k out. So, and you can swim here. It's the only one that you can swim at that we're going to today. So, let's go. Let's have a look. Start of the track, and we got a little wobbly. Imagine that broke. I'd be stuck over here. <laughs> 
so far so good however I always do say this too early and then it becomes a bit of a shambles so time will tell If anything, it's just got easier. It's just sandy now. Apart from that little river crossing we had back there. But yeah, nice and easy. Shouldn't be too far now. How's your knees? Still there. It always gets like this towards the end. But there it is. We made it. Well, the last two just left. We're the only ones here. It's all ours, this one. And what a spot. Easy enough walk in. And a beautiful pool. What do you reckon? Beautiful. Beautiful. See, so they got little stairs getting in. I'm so glad we've done that as a first stop because as we were walking out so many people were walking in as we got there we had it to ourselves perfect timing next stop is I think it's Blythe Homestead Ruins so go check that out we gather from this that there were 13 children, the first one born in 1903 and the last in 1930. They clearly got very bored, 13 children, wow. And this is all the children's tools and they've got like little engravings on them. That one says, I found myself tin mining and fencing before I was 10 years of age. And they've got all the names on this still. Where is that? We just spent some time reading this family album and wow, did they have a tough life. One of the children actually had a... Oh, let me try to find it. Max, he had a pet crocodile like what the hell we've just walked about 40 meters to the tin mine that all the 13 children worked at can you imagine 15 people living in that of rocks resemble skyscrapers I'm guessing <laughs> City done, and um, what do you think of that? Yeah, it was good, interesting, really interesting. Sort of feels like um, I don't know, someone out of the apocalypse now is going to run out with a spear and throw it at you. Wild imagination, haven't you seen it? No, yeah. 
Oh, yeah. Old Mel Gibson would love that, I think. You write a good film in there. But we're out of here. We're having some lunch and moving on. Back to camp, I think. We'll see how we go. See if there's anything on the way back. So here we are, we're at the Tolma lookout, or the walk to Tolma. And the viewing deck's about 500 metres from the car park. Toilets, picnic benches, loads of sort of amenities, which is pretty good. But we've just been told to go to the lower lookout, which I'm guessing is just up here, because it's the sort of best one. So I guess we'll see when we get there. Huge big lookout there, which is, um, Pretty cool, there's another lookout just up there. But the waterfall's still pretty far away and you can't really get down to it, so we're gonna keep moving there and just short little stop. This here. is probably the most advertised waterfall and it is 135 stairs, so probably the most easily accessed as well. So it's a short little walk, about 450 metres. And like I'm saying, all paved. All nice and easy and good for my knees. Because they're still cactus. You do know it's 135 stairs. Oh. Once you go down, you've got to come back up. Oh, well, that's no good for my knees then. <laughs> We've hit the, I still don't know how many stairs. And Jack's knees are buggered. So it's going to be fun. I'll be needing that on the way back up. <laughs> It's freezing, but we're chilling here in the little rock holes, just away from the sort of crowds that have been there. But yeah, freezing cold. Watch Soph try and jump in here. Short and sweet little one there, just because it's so busy, which is no surprise. It's all paved the whole way in, so it's made for two-wheel drives, anyone really. Um, but yeah, really busy and beautiful little swim. Cold though. But we're getting out of here now. We're going to have some lunch, and I think that's going to be us for Litchfield National Park. Maybe one more stop to see the uh, ant mounds. I think they are termite mounds, but uh, we'll see how we go, I guess. This is the problem I face now. Mm -hmm. 